I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It. Today we are testing more glues for 3D printing. But this time we're not testing them on PLA, we're testing them on PETG. But before we do that, make sure you like and follow. <laughs> So today we're testing four different glues. We're testing JB Weld for plastics. We're testing 3D Gloop for PETG. We're testing Weld On 16. And yeah, this is how the tube came from Amazon. It's pretty beat up, but I'm sure we'll be able to get some liquid out of there. And we are testing uh, PVC cement. One of our viewers actually recommended we test the PVC cement on PETG. So that's why we're adding this into this glue test. Now this time we printed obviously our bike handles in a pet G and we printed them um, vertically like this instead of like this to create some more support structure in the actual uh, print itself. So we're going to glue these together this way and we're going to see if we can snap that apart. We're also going to try to twist apart the actual, um, uh, the actual handles from each other once we glue them. We're going to adhere to whatever the directions are for each of these glues. So if they need to be clamped, we're going to clamp them. If they need to uh, dry for 24 hours, we're going to let them dry for 24 hours. Now let's get these glued together and see how they handle bonding PETG. And I also printed these handles in a PETG by Overture, which looks really similar to one of my favorite tool lines, the right OB tool line. As you can see, it's a very similar green color. Now let's get to our strength test. While we're assembling this, let's talk about each one of these different glues. 3D Gloop is specifically formulated for 3D printed materials, including this version for PETG. It has a proprietary blend designed to create strong chemical bonds between printed parts. One of the disadvantages of 3D Gloop for PETG is it is relatively expensive compared to more generic adhesives. PVC glue commonly used for plumbing applications is a solvent-based adhesive designed to bond PVC pipes and fittings. While not specifically made for PETG, it can be used as a general purpose adhesive for 3D prints. PVC glue is generally a lot cheaper than specialized 3D printing adhesives. One of its limitations is it tends to be more liquid and can lead to dripping and uneven application. Weld On 16 is a solvent cement primarily used for bonding acrylics. It's known for creating strong durable bonds that chemically weld materials together. Now one of its strengths is this adhesive is formulated to allow for precise application, which is beneficial for detailed 3D printed parts. So I actually miscounted and didn't make enough of these handles. So we had a 3D print a few more overnight and now we're gonna get them set up with the JB Weld. JB Weld for Plastic is a two-part epoxy adhesive designed specifically for bonding plastic materials. It creates a strong lasting bond by chemically reacting and curing when mixed. One of the strengths about JB Weld for Plastic is the bond is resistant to impacts, vibration, and environmental factors, providing long-term reliability. Now let's test these adhesives. So everything is cured up on these four glues and we're gonna put them to our stress test. First, we're gonna try to snap them. This is 3D glue. Oh, oh, that just broke. I don't know if that was the print this time or if that was the glue. I mean, as you can see, the glue held. The, the Pet G just snapped like so easy. Wow, okay. The glue held though, the glue held. See if we can twist it apart. Nope, definitely can't twist it apart. I'm gonna try to snap this one again. Okay, that time the gloop, the 3D gloop for Pet G did not hold. Okay, this is the weld on 16. First, we're gonna try the snap test. And once again, my um, Pet G broke. So let's see if we can twist it apart. Nope. Let's see if we can break this one apart. Oh, and the Weld On 16 actually came apart also. You can see there's residue on both of these. It's a pretty clean break. You can see there's residue on them. Okay. Here's the PVC glue on the Pet G. Now, what I have to say is this is definitely the messiest. You can see the, the primer there. So let's try snapping it. Okay, PLA, 
Not PLA, not PLA. The pet G broke. Let's try twisting it apart. And now let's try snapping it again. Okay. This actually held. The pipe glue actually, uh, the PVC glue or PVC cement actually held in both cases. It's a little messy, but it actually held quite well. The pet G broke way before the glue did. Okay, now here's JB Weld. As you guys know, this is one of my favorites. Let's start with the snap test. And obviously the PET G broke before the weld broke. We're gonna try the twist test. And now we're gonna try it, snap it. Nope, once again, the uh, JB Weld held up. So the only ones to pass this test really are the JB Weld for plastics and surprisingly the PVC pipe cement. Very impressed. Um, the 3D Gloop for Pet G actually failed. Uh, yeah, that is the Pet G one. I just wanted to make sure. The Weld on 16 failed also, which is interesting. So once again, JB Weld for Plastics always seems to come through on these tests. But the, the, uh, the PVC Pipe Glue actually worked amazingly well on Pet G. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on testing glues for 3D printing with Pet G. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making. <laughs>